The purpose of this video is to show um, how to group text boxes or images or shapes uh, to together. Uh, and I'm going to use a simple mediation analysis uh, type of diagram uh, to do that. So first I'll go up to insert and then I'll click on text box, a simple text box. I'll move it, reposition it, and this will be my um, my independent variable and I'm going to call that uh, leadership practices and then I'll reposition my uh, text box to look something like that and now I want to uh, insert another text box for the uh, dependent variable which will be uh, let's call that organizational commitment. Oops. And now I'm going to also uh, reshape that. And let's bring that up just a little bit. And we'll put that right over on this side. And I'll put one more uh, insert text box. The mediating variable will be uh, status our job satisfaction. Job job satisfaction. And that will be my mediating uh, variable. And we'll put that right about here. Now we'll need to insert some arrows. So go back up to insert and then go over to shapes. Click on the little down arrow and I'll need an arrow going from here to here. Actually, let me reposition that to right about there, to right about here. And uh, also, I'd like to change the uh, properties of that. So let's look under Shape Outline. I like that to be a little bit heavier, so I'll go to Weight, and then uh, maybe something like that. And also, I do want to make that a black arrow. And um, Actually, that's a little bit too heavy. I'm going to click on it again, go to Shape Outline, and lighten it up just a little bit more. And now I also will need uh, two additional arrows. So Insert, Shape, Arrow, and do one from here down to here. That's my B path. And uh, the same thing, I'm going to turn that black, and then, uh, oops. Apparently, I did not turn that black. Um, black, and I think I need to weight it just a little bit heavier, and that should be just about right. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and we can also copy these. Copy, and then paste. It puts it right beside it. And I'm just going to reposition it here, and then go down and grab the, uh, the circle and bring it over to here. Now, um, let's let's also um, show our go to insert and uh, let's show our A, B, and C paths uh, text box. And these are going to be very small text boxes. So just this is our A path. I'll shrink that up and move that over to here. And uh, let's let's go ahead and just click on on right on the line there. So it selects it, and then uh, you have to make sure that you have all four arrow arrows. Do a right click, copy, and paste. And I'll get one more. Click on it. Make sure you have four arrows right there. Uh, copy, and then paste. And I'm going to put one here, and I'm going to put the other one. Oops, I have to click on it. And then drag it down to here. That's the A path. And I'm just going to change that to the B path. And this one I'm going to change to um, delete that and put in C, C prime. And I think I need to make that a lowercase. There we go. Now uh, you'll notice that there are 
uh, boxes around the text boxes. So to get rid of those, I have to go right on right on the line, click one time, a left click, and then it it highlights it. I'm going to go up to Drawing Tools, click on Drawing Tools, and then look at my Shape Outline, and come down where it says No Outline. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Click right on the line, Shape Outline, No Outline. Click, and then come down to my C Prime. You have to make it so that arrow is there. Click it, and then go up to Shape Outline and no outline. So now you have your um, mediating analysis uh, diagram. However, uh, if you're trying to type on this page, it's very difficult. So what you, because uh, it's going to move different, it's, it just won't work. The best thing to do, since all of these right now are individual components, in other words, you can move any individual one anywhere you wanted, um, it makes it very difficult uh, to uh, to move that as as a whole object. So uh, you can use something called grouping in Word. And what what you do is you hold down the Control key on the keyboard, and then you have to click every single uh, text box, arrow, uh, and so forth, uh, just one at a time. So you have to go right up to the line, click. And I, I'm still holding down control while I'm doing this. Now I'm going to go to my arrow, click on that. I'm going to go to my mediating variable, get, click on that line, come down to my organizational commitment, click on that line. I also have to get this arrow, this arrow. Now I also have the um, A, B, and C paths. Now for this, you just take your cursor and you move over until the line is there, you just can't see it. Until you have the arrow right there, you click it. Go right on over. Uh-oh. When I did that, I didn't mean to lift up control. Uh, so it it took all the other ones off. So I have to do that again. So I'm going to hold down control, click the, click the arrow, this arrow, this arrow, this box, this box, this box, and now bring my, until I get an arrow right there, click that box, bring my cursor over until I get the arrow, because you can't see where the line is, you just have to bring it over slowly, and the line's right there, and click on that one. Now I have everything highlighted in every uh, text box, arrow, and A, B, and C path. I'm going to let go of control, go back up to Drawing Tools, click on Drawing Tools, and then in the Arrange section, there's something called Group. So you hit your down arrow in Group, and then you click on Group. And what that does, it locks all of those images together. So now if I click anywhere in here, oh, excuse me, if I click any, any uh, line in here, it's going to give me the whole, it's, it locks them all together. Now I can move move them all together. So I can type and if I need to move something I just move it. Um, or you can also resize it. Uh, that does mess up with a number of different things. Uh, it'll, it'll mess up with your boxes if you make them too small. So you have to be careful about that. Um, but to do that you just you just come right over until you uh, find the arrow and click, and then you can reposition. So that's how you do that. If you like to ungroup everything and you want to change uh, the A, B, and C prime, or you want to put numbers in there instead, um, click anywhere in here so that you get your boundary boxes. Go back up to Drawing Tools. Go over to Group again in the Arrange section. Go to Group and then now you have an ungroup and now it, it um, now they all return back to individual components and you can change any you know any one that you want you can change you know the text to something else hope this is helpful